and welcome to this free information session by Kaiser HIT Consulting. In this session, I'm going to go over three different changes that we can make within PowerChart Ambulatory to enhance the schedule viewer. So let's get started. The first change we're going to make is a change that allows the schedule viewer to take up the full width of the screen and remove the white space that we currently have on the right of the screen. The second change will condense the rows of each uh, hour in such a way that we maximize the amount of information vertically without having to create so much scrolling to see the morning part of the schedule and then the afternoon part of the schedule. The third thing we're going to do is actually create a default resource to uh, apply every time you log in to PowerChart so that you're not having to type that in or use the recent dropdown to look at the same resource that you commonly need. So to make all these changes, we're going to right click in the schedule viewer, select preferences, and the default resource is where you are able to put in the, that resource um, that you always or are customarily using. In this case, I'm going to use a ultrasound resource and you can always use the search field to complete. The other two changes are going to be made under the day view tab. Expand to fill screen is what's going to allow us to eliminate that white space and it will take the columns that we currently have configured and spread those out evenly so that we have uh, more use of the width of the space. This time interval drop down is what's going to allow us to set the interval between each row. Currently that was set to 15 minutes. I'm now going to set that to one hour. I'm going to say OK and watch our changes take effect. So ultrasound has now defaulted as our resource. Notice the full width of the screen is being used to show information and each hour is represented only by one row. Now your practice management system will automatically create new rows at the given time that you have patients scheduled. So you don't have to worry about missing anything if a patient's not scheduled at the top of an hour uh, just because that's what the way we see it right now. So that's how we make those three changes to increase the efficiency and utilization of the schedule viewer. Thanks for joining me on this free information session brought to you by Kaiser HIT Consulting. Check out our website at kaiserhitconsulting.com for more information about our solutions and services.